What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can insert and edit data bars in Microsoft Excel so that way you can get a better visual of the data that you're working with. So here we have a month and year and corresponding values. And to insert data bars, we can just first highlight the range that we want to make the data bars from. Then go to the Home tab. And over to the right, you're going to see a styles grouping where you can then see an option for conditional formatting at the top. Click on conditional formatting. And here you can click on data bars. And you can either select a gradient fill or a solid fill. And clicking on one of these is the fastest way to insert data bars into the data that you're working with. But there are a lot of customization options that you can use to really get the data bars to be what you want them to be. So to edit, edit, edit and customize these data bars, you can go to back to the home tab, back to digital formatting, and then data bars, and then more roles. Where here, for example, you can just the format styles right here to be data bars, also two color scale, three color scales, or icon set, but I'm just gonna have this be um, a data bar right there. There's a checkbox, show bar only, so click on the checkbox. And then making sure we also have the green color. And then as you can see, click OK. As you can see, now we have only the bar showing. Now choose show some other customization options. Go back to the home tab, additional formatting to create data bars and more rules. As you can see, we can have the calculations and kind of how it's displayed based on adjust based on different things. So we can have it based, based on a percentage, for example, from zero to hundred percent or a number, but I'm going to leave it as from low solid to high solid. That's kind of the default. We can adjust the fill. So we can have either solid color fill or a gradient fill. And we can also adjust the color of this too. So just say I wanted a green gradient fill. That's kind of cool. Um, for borders, we can either have no border or a solid border around the bars. And, here, and so let's say you want to have a solid border, a solid gray border. As you can see, this green gradient fill with a gray border as shown at the bottom. And we can also change the bar direction, right? It defaults to having it kind of guess the bar direction best based on the context of the data. We can have it always be left to right or always be right to left as shown at the bottom. I'm just going to have it continue to be on the context of the data, but I know that's an option. And you can also adjust the negative and axis values too. So if, for example, it, the default is that um, if there's a negative value in data bars, then it's going to be red. But let's say you wanted negative values to not be red. You wanted them to be blue. Or you wanted negative values to be the same color. You can just click that there, just click that right there too. Uh, I'm going to leave it to have it being as blue, and also it's going to be blue gradient too because other values are gradient. Also, just the border colors. So, let's just say one of them to stand out a bit more, one of them to be a black border color as opposed to gray border color. Or you can have the same border color right there. Uh, border color as the positive values, but I'm going to have a black border color right like so. You can also adjust the axis too, which kind of impacts how negative values look in your data bars so you can have it automatic or you can have it on some midpoint or none so you can have negative values show the same bar direction as positive or you can have it based on some midpoint or you can have it automatically um, just based on the sizes of positive and negative values i'm going to leave it as automatic and click ok and then click ok now here you can see we have these green gray, green gradient bars and we can for example do negative five negative why not negative 100 just kind of show it and you can see negative 100 has a blue bar with is is blue gradient with a black border so i hope you found this to be helpful if you did like subscribe comment thank you for watching you have a great day